Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers, this is a reading for Libra, my beautiful Libras, Sun, Moon and Rising Libra. This is your mid-month check-in, so let's see what's going on and look at that, you've just flipped out <laughs> straight right off the bat Libra. This is your mid-month check-in, so I'd like to see what's going on with you guys for the rest of the month of November 2022, so mid to end of November, I'm just going to take one more here. That's all that flipped out. And let's have a look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, we've got the Three of Swords. So this is really looking at your current energy, the energy of the person, people, situations around you that you may be dealing with, the overall outcome of those situations, and um, any other words of advice or messages that need to come through. We've got the Ace of Water here. So it's the Ace of Cups. I've got two Aces in this reading now. Ace of Wands and Ace of cups making an appearance so that's very very interesting just pull one more and then we will get right into it oops that's flipped all the way over there bear with me okay we have new moon in gemini think it through very interesting i think you have been uh thinking something through libra i can definitely see that here I think you've been weighing something up. You've been weighing up um, whether something is worth continuing with, whether it's worth um, leaving a situation. We do have the Three of Swords here underpinning this. So there is the um, there is this connotation of coming through. I feel like this is past, but you've come through some sort of a um, heartbreaking situation that's not something you want to happen again that's not what you want to experience again you're kind of over that you want to get to a, a place that um, is much more stable a relationship that is a lot more stable you don't want any kind of ups and downs um, and so I feel as though you are making a decision um, potentially to leave a situation potentially to um, I guess not necessarily cut someone out, but start thinking more about yourself and what you deserve and what you, um, yeah, the kind of the kind of person you want to be with, the kind of relationship you want to have. That's what we're thinking about at the moment. And I can see here that um, it's almost like you've you've weighed up the pros and cons in a situation, and now you're ready to almost make a move on it. Now, it's very interesting because we're seeing two aces here. I feel as though some of you will have a potential for two new beginnings. And some of you may be needing to make a little bit of a choice between two people, two individuals. Potentially, one of them is a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and potentially the other is a water sign, um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But that's what I'm seeing. There's two very distinct opportunities here. Now, it could be that one is an opportunity for love, a new relationship, and one is an opportunity for a new project, a new creative project, a new business, something that takes you in a new direction when it comes to what you work on, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your finances. And I am seeing um, a bit of a focus on pentacles here as well towards the end of the month. So we're looking at the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. This is all about working on your money, continuing to grow your savings, your investments, your finances, whatever it is you're getting um, rewarded for in terms of or whatever it is you're working on. We have a, a definitely a focus on, on that towards the end of the month. And I'm seeing you achieve some kind of stability, potentially some kind of stability that you did not have before and this is going to make you feel more comfortable i'm also seeing a potential new relationship a new person who is going to make you feel like you can be um more uh i guess it doesn't feel as erratic it doesn't feel like it's an in and out energy it feels like it's just a more stable kind of energy i do see that you still have a little bit of your guard up with this with this person so you're not wanting to give it all away as such you're not wanting to completely wear your heart on your sleeve or open up immediately but the feelings are there and the feelings are strong now again because we have this new moon energy does i am getting the sense that this is a new person a new relationship and i am getting the sense that you're needing to just 
um, really analyze the situation and make sure that you're not being taken for a ride. I'm going to pull some more clarifying cards, but from what I can see so far, I don't think that that is the case, but let's just go through things one at a time and see where we're at, Libra, um, because this is interesting. And sometimes when we see the four of pentacles as well, it can be a little bit of a trust issue. You have, might have your guard up a little bit, it might be, um, you know, closing off the heart or putting up a bit of a wall. Um, but then again, we're seeing that the emotions are definitely there. And I'm seeing that someone else could be potentially mirroring those feelings too, even though feelings are there, they're just wanting to, um, then they're kind of, they're not wanting to make you feel uncomfortable either, right? So interesting there with the eight of pentacles and the tower in reverse, the tower sort of flipped out in that upside down position. I feel like you've avoided some kind of a disaster. I feel like you've you've seen something coming. You've seen that a situation is not going to work out very well and you've you've somehow avoided it. And it could be to do with working extra hard on something. So it could be to do with like um, there was some sort of there was some sort of issue, you know, whether this be like in a relationship, you started to see some cracks appear and then you thought, right, I've got to like kick into gear. I've got to do something about this because um, I want to make sure that uh, my interests are protected. Some of you may have, um, you know, gone, th gone through some sort of a separation or ending and there may have been some legal issues or legal things involved, um, things that need to be resolved, worked out something of, of that nature. I feel like if that's the case, you've put in the work to make sure that everything lines up in your favor. And the fact that you've done that has meant that you have avoided some sort of legal issue there as well, potentially to do with um, a home too. It could be like a home or a living situation. Yeah, I'm really sensing that um, we're moving to a place of victory here. So once again, strong message for anyone going through any sort of legal issue that you've been working hard towards. Uh, I'm seeing some success there. I'm seeing things work out in your favor. It may um, take um, really looking at all your options, really looking at the law and talking to experts as well to make sure that um, that you've you've kind of covered everything or you've looked at everything from every angle but with the queen of pentacles there the six of wands i'm seeing some kind of success here i'm seeing some kind of victory if this is to do with something financial so like a new uh, job a new um, line of work or career um, an opportunity to invest in something or start your own business something like that of that nature i see that working out quite well for you and you will get a sense of early kind of success with that if that's the case oops oh there's some repeating energy that just flipped onto the floor we've got um the seven of swords again so um yeah really really interesting it's almost like you're going to have to go through everything with a bit of a fine tooth comb, I would say, and make sure that um, everything is lined up. Now, this is so that you don't get taken advantage of as well. So any new um, situation that you get into, any contracts that you sign, for example, just make sure that you've uh, analyzed those appropriately. We have the uh, Eight of Wands there as well. Something's going to happen quite quickly. I think something's going to happen quite quickly with regards to this uh, new opportunity. And you're going to get some kind of communication about that. We've got the King of Swords here as well. Yeah, I would, um, there's that sort of uh, legal brain, legal expertise, potentially very, very rational thinker. Um, this has to make sense in order to work. So there's going to be um, potentially an opportunity coming through again, which you're going to have to think through. Um, but it is a new opportunity and it's something that is presented to you and that is exciting. But you just need to make sure you cover off all those details and really think it through. There's a lot of potential for like... Um, teamwork and that sort of thing we've got another ace here so i wanted to clarify that ace of um water ace of cups and we got the ace of swords there's some sort of um conversation here i feel that's going to happen some sort of truth is going to be told and there's victory associated with that as well um this could be to do with 
oh, they could actually be a combination of um, a bit of romance in a new connection that you meet in another way. So if you meet this new connection through like work or in a professional capacity, it, it's possible that it blossoms into some kind of feeling, some sort of uh, new relationship, some kind of, uh, yeah, romantic feelings blossoming there that's possible it could also be it's got strong air energy so there could be an air sign another libra um gemini aquarius that sort of thing yeah very interesting here we want to make sure that we avoid um another heartbreak you really want to make sure you you avoid that the a past situation is still kind of on your mind is still kind of um making its way through here so that could be one of the reasons why it's important to really think this through i think you need to really take your time and make sure that you feel comfortable before you know making any moves that goes without saying but it's also just to feel confident and to feel happy and you don't want to go into something with too much like baggage from the past i guess i feel as though someone around you also has a similar shared experience to you interestingly so whether just as an example putting it out there i'm not saying this happened but just putting it out there say you got cheated on someone else got cheated on too and they know what that feels like so there's almost like this sense of common like needing to guard the emotions a little bit i feel as though it is a little bit more fresh for you compared to this person that you that you may be dealing with so for you it's it's just a bit more of a uh, on your mind this past heartbreak for your person it feels as though they're more removed from it it feels as though they have gotten to um, a more uh, evolved place after it happened so they're a little bit more ready to open their heart but they're kind of gonna kind of wait for you if that makes sense we've got another four here four of um, wands so essentially yeah stability is really on your mind and you also want to make sure your living situation, your home situation feels very good. You want to make sure that you're in the right place for you. Um, and so there could be some thoughts around what that looks like, whether it might be time to move somewhere else or change something slightly about the home uh, situation. Yeah, you're thinking about the future. You're thinking about what you want that to look like, it's sort of like wishing on a star here. But what I like about this is that... Um, I do think that you're kind of doing things for you at this point. So you may have, again, walked away from like a, a bad situation in the past, a heartbreaking situation, and now moving towards something that is going to... Um, you, you want someone who's a little bit more honest, I would say. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone who is more honest in their communication, honest in... Um, their words and values and and making sure that you are on the same page with this person if that makes sense yeah definitely more five energy so something's changing here but there's also this undercurrent of wanting to avoid um another loss another heartbreak that's something that is still kind of on your mind Um, I think seeing what has happened in the past or experiencing what has happened in the past means that you're not going to rush into anything. You're going to take your time. Um, you're also going to look for more, um, consistency in a person. And I do see someone who has that level of consistency. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be like one step at a time with this person so um someone is going to approach you in the right way i feel someone is going to um it's like taking it one step at a time not rushing in so let's you know get to know each other let's talk a little bit more let's go on a date let's do this like it's like a slow progression 
of what makes sense to happen in a relationship when it's kind of evolving naturally. So it's not going to be too fast, not going to be too slow. It's just going to be that sort of consistent pace. And things are really going to turn around, I feel, right? And there's also, um, there's also quite a lot of a lot of passion. We have the Ace of Wands here twice. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of hope for the future. It's going to give you, you know, this is not here yet, but it's going to give you this sense that this kind of happiness, ultimate happiness is possible um, in this situation. So that's looking a lot better than what you've experienced in the past, I have to say. But consistency is key. So you're going to deal with someone who, or someone's going to be coming in who just shows up, you know, they, sh they show up when they, when they need to, and they're just very consistent and they're there for you and things progress in the correct manner, if that makes sense. So a few changes going on, a few things to really think about, um, Libra, but you know, overall it's, it's looking pretty good. And like I said, I feel confident that, um, you've, you've got some things to look forward to here and I think you're experienced enough to know what to kind of look out for, if that makes sense. When it comes to when it comes to another person, when it comes to their characteristics, when it comes to um, how consistent they are and that sort of thing. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.